Every August, the best Dota 2 teams travel from around the world, seeking to raise the coveted Aegis at the most prestigious competition in esports, the International. Over its short but fabled history, the International has managed to produce more than a few of Dota's most unforgettable stories. But before more heroes and legends are added to the competition's lore this summer, let's look back and relive the most iconic moments in the International's history. The Fountain Hooks. They're not done. Mech still hasn't even been used. There's a hook! How? Brought all the way back to the base! Cleaned up by the Fountain! Game-breaking, brilliant, hilarious, cheating. No matter how you describe it, Navi's Fountain Hooks from TI3 is still one of the most unorthodox strategies to ever be used at an international. Only 15 minutes into game three of their upper bracket match against Tong Fu, Navi found themselves with their backs against the wall. Sensing incoming defeat, Puppy and Dendi pulled out the ultimate cheese strategy, the Fountain Hook. Still hasn't even been used. There's a hook! How? Brought all the way back to the base! Cleaned up by the fountain! The product of a unique interaction between Chen's Test of Faith and Pudge's Meat Hook. The fountain hook created a long ride to certain death for anyone unfortunate enough to be caught on the end of it. Going for a ride on the Dindy Express. Welcome! To the well. From there, things became more and more ridiculous as Dendi landed hook after hook. That's a much better choice. Oh, he got him! After hook. There we go. The hook got him! In the end, despite its absurdity, the cheese strategy was crucial for securing Navi's comeback. Navi! Charging back out at KJ! We'll make it a full five-man wipe! While the interaction would later be patched out of the game, this iconic moment forever stands as a testament to not only Navi's inventiveness, but the near-endless possibilities of Dota. This is what you call one for the road! I cannot believe that they actually did it. The Mega Creep Comeback. game was out of control. That's a game that just makes you love Dota 2. In the six-year history of the International, no team had ever successfully overcome so Mega Creeps to take the win. That is, Why until that August 10th, 2016, oh, EG when EG met E-Home in an absolute slugfest of a match. As this is one of the best games I've ever seen. From minute one, both teams went blow okay, for blow in I team fight after team forward. fight. He's got that. Whirling death, one more hit to do it. Close. There it is. First blood for Fenrir. Can't quite get over 11. The ice blast, not gonna land either. The Chronosphere will secure the kill. But all oh, the jumping. Oh my god, with the ice blast! Ice, ice, ice! And over 11. They're almost gone. Guild Scepter and Ice, Ice, Ice buys himself a moment, but he's still down. Everybody he's coming back here. in for me. No. Another buyback with the booster travel level two. They're going on the universe. He's dead. Two minutes on the clock. He's so they low. need to escape with Samil. He can't make it though. But Ehome slowly ground EG down and pushed forward, eventually claiming all three Old racks to get the melee. Though, Juggernaut is good to go. He's going to be able to take that melee rack. Range racks up next. Melee already down. Ice Blast coming in. If this range rack, that's going to be Megas, and they just kill PPD. With the impossible challenge of overcoming Megas in front of them, EG didn't waver, putting up an unbelievable defense, somehow clawing their way back into the match. Evil geniuses still five up, but here comes Dead on these flash. Bouncing around, they shattered even, hoping to be able to go on his eye, but an arrow! Oh my god! The mail just nailed him, but he still managed to get himself away in the back lights. The Good spaceless void though in the back. He's now going to go for all chicken. He may be activated. And now he's going to run himself away. Universe says he's back. He's going to get a nice shot on the He's there! He might be able to do this! Evil Genius is there holding! The Evil Genius is pool top and collected. They're holding this event here again. If they kill the chicken here, they're able to get the ice box in. No! Eho! Five down! This is the end game scenario. With the game well past the hour mark, the Megas threatening their every move, EG took the momentum of their Valiant hold and brought the fight to Eho's front door. Game one, it's over. Evil 
As the crowd blew the roof off Key Arena, EG cemented their legendary status with one of the greatest Dota 2 comebacks of all time. I can safely say I've never seen something like that. The Deny. From the International 2013, KYXY's Deny is one of the most infamous blunders of Dota's history and is iconic for all the wrong reasons. And that goes the hands of Windrunner. Uh, no. Denial. Den what? They denied it. They failed. Oh. I, I, just, I couldn't watch the game for a good five minutes because I was just like completely mind blown over the fact that he had just denied an Aegis. In the lower bracket finals, Orange Esports took on Na'Vi for the chance to face Alliance in the grand finals. Orange came into the series hot and jumped out to a strong lead in a deciding game three against the favorites, the Na'Vi. Lane. So Orange claim all the out of tier one towers and they haven't lost a single one yet. Man, this is just like Malaysian power fighting through Na'Vi. And Na'Vi have no answer to this. Orange was in a commanding position and opted to take Roshan to ensure the win. But that's when disaster struck. Should be on the hands of Mushi, and in fact goes the hands of Windrunner. Yeah, nope. Denial. Den what? They denied it. They failed. As oh. Roshan died, KYXY misclicked, destroying the crucial Aegis of the Immortal just before his team could pick it up. And the pressure, even though all these players are trying not to think about it when they're in the game, but when you're up and one game is what makes the difference between going to Grand Finals or not, it's always there. Without the Aegis in hand, Orange was unable to close out the game safely, ultimately creating an opening for Na'Vi. And Puppy, well, he's got the black card, he got three in it! Well, look for the brave set, died. they couldn't get anything! Orange lost two! Orange lost three! Orange has lost four! Na'Vi capitalized on Orange's misfortune and charged back into the game overcoming a 7,000 gold deficit, knocking Orange out of the event. GG! Na'Vi! They come back from what looked like oblivion! While KYXY is still a celebrated player, this moment will forever linger. Adding to the cruel, iconic legacy of this misplay is the fact that, to this day, Aegis Denies are still called KYXYs. Whoa, whoa, what? what? Yeah, he denied. What? 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 Boba? Boba, no. please! No, Bulba, don't be KYX1. Oh, Bulba! The $6 million dollar no Echo Slam. They're all together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dunk! And from Universe, it's a disaster! From the grand finals of TI5, the $6 million dollar Echo Slam is not only one of the nastiest two-man wombo combos you'll ever witness, it was the tournament-winning play for Evil Geniuses. Up 2-1 in the Grand Finals against CDEC Gaming, Evil Geniuses, the hometown heroes, appeared to be on their way to victory in Game 4. Then, a glimmer of hope presented itself for CDEC. A catch onto Sumail creating an opening to take Roshan and potentially reclaim the momentum. But, as quickly as the window opened for C-Deck, PPD and Universe slammed it shut even faster, unleashing their ultimates onto their unwary opponents to devastating effect. There is no hook shot. They're all together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dunk! And from Universe, it's a disaster! CDC! They're gonna get wiped from the face of the Earth, apart from Aggressive! He'll jump out! Only 10 minutes after this game-defining play, EG would hoist the Aegis as North America's first ever champions. S4's Million Dollar Dream Coils From the epic grand finals of TI3, S4's Million Dollar Dream Coils are quite possibly the most clutch plays in Dota 2 history. TI3's Grand Finals was the culmination of one of the game's best rivalries, Alliance vs Na'Vi, the El Clasico of Dota. Here we go! With the title on the line in a deciding Game 5, both teams were digging deep. Alliance started slow out of the gate, giving Na'Vi early control. And Body Navi are pulling away with this game. Bodo caught. Bulldog will fall. Triple kill for Dendi. Dendi 
That's when Alliance started to do what they do best, split push. If he gets this, they might not be able to stop him. Roche, TP back in here, and he bashes. There's a stun on Dendi. Dendi's dropping low. Roshan. Roshan. S4 picks up the ages. Alliance is still in game five. Na'Vi grouped up mid, attempting to force Alliance to defend. When it became clear their strategy wasn't working, Na'Vi tried to bail out. But S4 had something to say about that. With Na'Vi stalled in their recalls, Alliance took down two lanes of Rax, completely outmaneuvering their rival. As the game was coming down to the wire, S4 once again came up absolutely massive. There's a glimpse! It's going to be their last stand! Dendi's back, he's going to try to focus everybody, but there's so much stuff! The Heading glyph's the throne, There's no more glyph available! Down to about half HP! A quarter HP! Alliance surrounding from all sides! They want to While there's plenty of debate as to which of the two moments is the true million dollar coil, there's no doubt that both are spectacular. The plays catapulted S4 into the Dota Pantheon and helped Alliance secure the Aegis in one of the most epic finishes to any international. Dramatic, sensational, and undeniably clutch, S4's million dollar dream coils are the definition of an iconic Dota moment. Bulba and Clockwork. Throw him slow! Throw almost dead! Not yet! Side line of fall! Liquid are doing it! They're gonna take it! Liquid and China are going oh home! My God. And Bulba is on his feet! Sometimes, one man can make all the difference in the world, and during the International 2013, that man was Bulba, who helped carry Team Liquid to one of the most dramatic upsets of all time. When Liquid met LGD Gaming China in the lower bracket of TI3, everyone predicted that North America would once again fall short against a Chinese powerhouse. If you play a standard game against LG China, I'm not sure what to take it from them. However, in a now legendary game, Belva on Clockwork went to work, picking LGD apart across the map and landing crucial hooks to give Liquid a chance. Jowade in a whole lot of trouble. Easy pickets for Bulba. Zen didn't catch TC. Liquid still standing. Oh, now here comes home. Bulba to Mecha. And the AOU will fly through Korok with the right clicks. They get Yao. Clockwork hook. It's going to find Xiaowei. What a pickoff. Thankfully for North American fans, Liquid did not waste the opportunity produced by Bulba's heroics, closing out the upset with a brilliant team play. Look for Bulba. RP catches a few, and it's chaos in the pit. Still standing strong. Second Rock RP, alive. it's going to come right now. That also catches three Silar with the right clicks. He gets up by X Mike. He's slow. He's going to get one, but he's dropping Korok. Wins the man fight. Yao comes back in. Hooks back in by Bulba. They win the team fight. With LD's famous call resonating throughout the building, North America emerged the victors. Sideline of fall! Liquid are doing it! They're gonna take it! Team LD Liquid. and China are going oh home! My God. And Bulba is on his feet! Can you feel it? I can feel it! The match remains iconic for not only Bulba's ridiculously heroic individual performance, there's no doubt about it, he was the MVP of the match, but the significance of the win in the landscape of NA Dota. The play. What can you say about the play that hasn't been said already? From the International 2012, the play is still to this day Dota's most famous moment, a highlight you simply need to see to believe. They storm up the river, patience from Zoe, waiting in the wake, Navi's about to be caught. Oh, there's the sleep, the Surge, he catches everyone! Oh, this could be a total disaster! Vacuum in! Ravage on everyone! The black hole as well! Light of Evan turns it around! Ravage as well! Stolen by Denny! Are you kidding? In a crucial Game 2 of their upper bracket match against Invictus Gaming, Na'Vi was in firm control. 
With eyes on the tier 2 bottom lane, Na'Vi gathered themselves and grouped for a push. Sensing an opportunity to mount a comeback, IG didn't hesitate. Wrapping around behind Na'Vi, under cover of smoke, IG's plan worked perfectly, catching Na'Vi off guard and setting up what looked to be an absolute devastating team fight. The shorter path, they storm up the river. Patience from Zoe, waiting in the wake. Navi is about to be caught. Oh, there's the sleep, the surge. He catches everyone. Oh, this could be a total disaster. Vacuuming, Ravage on everyone. The black hole as well. Light of heaven turns it around. Ravage as well. Stolen by Daddy. Are you kidding me? They turn it around. Four heroes dead. Four Five IG. heroes dead. Chuan trying to survive. Chuan's gonna go down. Puppy talked about the Naga counter. It's Light of Heaven. What does BK mean? However, Light of Heaven popped his BKB, landing a massive four-man black hole on the grouped-up IG, completely reversing the trap. At the same instant, Dendi4 staffed himself out of IG's attacks, stealing Ravage and returning it in kind, leading Navi to decimate IG in a clean wipe. Na'Vi would go on to not only win the game, but the series as well, advancing them into the top three at TI2. While IG would earn their revenge in the Grand Finals to claim the ages for themselves, it does little to tarnish what is Dota's most iconic moment of all. I, my mind is completely shattered at this point. Thanks for watching! If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.